One of the things that stuck with me that they told me a couple of years ago was that when cars come to them for calibration, a lot of them, a large percentage of them go back because the structure is not right. And, and or suspension isn't right. The vehicle needs an alignment or it should have been measured and pulled or whatever. And so that's what I want shops to think about as we look at all of this legal trouble that's picking up for ADAS right now. Calibration isn't necessarily pass fail. You, when you put the vehicle on the ground or wherever you're supposed to do it and you hang the targets, it aims for wherever you put that target. So you've calibrated the car, you just might not have calibrated it correctly. Um, Burke Porter put together this great article that that really does a better job of talking about what ICAR was talking about in 2017. But just one degree makes a huge difference when you're compounding it over how many feet that this software is supposed to see. So it's supposed to see an object within a certain range based on the speed the vehicle is going, and that allows the vehicle to stop, steer, do whatever. If it's not seeing in the right spot, does it stop too early? Does it stop too late? Does it stop when it's not supposed to stop? Like we're going under a bridge, right? Like, like the structure, the physical structure of the vehicle or the parts and components makes a huge difference. Um, for a system that helps the vehicle steer to stay center, then the alignment has to be right, the steering angle sensor, SAI, all that stuff has to be right, or that math problem doesn't work. Like, and if it's wrong and you're one degree off, that literally can be live or die. So we're at a point in collision repair where you're going to have to pre-measure cars 